So don't take anything I say seriously, all right? Just fucking enjoy it. This is amazing. It's a privilege to be here. It's fucking incredible. It's, I don't know, some of you recognize me. It's because I was on Fox News live on their national morning show and called them a parade of propaganda and a festival of ignorance. <laughs> this thing started small and strange and now it's huge and angry like Carrot Top did. Yeah, it's fucking weird. But uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's spreading across the country like a rash at a nudist colony. It's incredible. It's incredible to be here. And people have made a lot about the fact that it's young people. Why is it so many? Why is it only young people? Well, who the fuck do you think has to sit in this shit for the next 70 years? You know? Who the fuck has to sit around drinking the polluted water, breathing the tainted air, eating the mutated fish, watching the vapid reality shit on TV? <laughs> watching it create a nation of malignant imaginations, all right? We know this shit's not going to be regulated unless we stand up. I mean, no one has been punished in any way for the collapse of 2008. 2008, I didn't know who to blame. For a while I blamed Bush and Cheney because they're fucking evil. Then I blamed the Democrats because they're spineless. Then for a while I blamed David Hasselhoff. That was a weird time for me, really. But if you picture, if you picture the people that caused this shit, the CEOs, the politicians, the Bernie Madoffs, they're not all different types of people. It's all one group of people. It's all people over roughly 50. Fuck them. Fuck people over 50. Unless you're here, you're cool because you're here. All right? But the other ones, they sucked up everything good. They grabbed up all the easy money in the beachfront property, took all the clean air into their lungs, all the good music into their ears, all the good movies into their eyes, and they left us with STDs, rehab, and the Jonas Brothers. Really, in the big bag of trail mix, they ate the peanuts and the M&Ms and left us with raisins. It's just raisins. Until now, I wasn't going to defend my generation either. We were a generation of electronic Uber pussies, all right? Fucking no one was marching to end war and get health care, but they run out of iPads at the store and then we'll throw a brick through a window. That'll get us angry. You know, they run out of tickets to Hangover 2 and people will flip a police car. That's about it. But now it's different, you know. And, and what, what went on in London? If you watch the London riots, the media, they they, they, they were like, oh, why? Well, it's fucking criminals and criminals. And, and look, when young, desperate people set fire to stores and steal shit, we rightly call them criminals and we want them arrested. But when corporations and millionaires steal the fucking loot of the global economy, set homes on fire by way of foreclosure, cover their faces with shell companies, we call them titans of industry. We <laughs> the cops can't arrest everyone, all right? They can't mace everyone. They can't take their daddy issues out on everyone. <laughs> Show up! They're, they're pouring water yeah. on the gremlins. <laughs> you know, we, we can fucking we can fix this shit. We can we can clean up this mess. We got Sham Wow. Have you seen that thing? We can clean up this shit. We, there's big ways to fight back, like what we're doing here. There's also little ways, you know, like like if your job steals your health care. Steal their staplers. <laughs> Steal their fucking staplers. Yeah, I might not get the liver transplant I need, but good luck of fixing two pieces of paper together. You top lickers. Right, just little shit. Streak through a board meeting. Slip a photo of your ball sack into the PowerPoint presentation. You know, little shit. Fuck it. Take your family on a vacation to the oil-covered coast of the Gulf of Mexico. Take a, take a bunch of Christmas card photos. Send one to the head of BP and write, Happy Hanukkah. This oil's lasted more than eight days. It's a miracle. <laughs> oh, just little shit. Fuck it. If you, go take your money out of the big banks. Put it in a little bank. <laughs> in a milk carton, and if you want to feel like you're at a big bank, every time you take money out of the milk carton, 
flush a dollar fifty down the toilet and smack your grandmother. <laughs> You'll feel just like you had a big bank. Also, go into one of the big banks. Say you want to open a checking business account. Yeah. Then when you're meeting with them in that little office, slowly start taking a dump in your pants. <laughs> Never mention it. Maintain eye contact. Just let the smell fill the entire place. All right, if they want to shit on America, then it's going to come right back at them. <laughs> A fucking wrench in the gears, a herpes sore on their lip. Yeah, sure, it might not kill them, but a million herpes sores will make them rethink who they're fucking. In conclusion, I think we can clean this up. We just gotta think outside the box, think of new ways to live, you know, new ways to be. I think we need to envision a new society where. Where, where, where homeless people get to live inside of the giant empty houses and buildings clearing right. our landscape. Right. If you're a fucking hobo, you get your own personal circuit city building. If you're a schizophrenic veteran living on the streets, you get a boarded up Chrysler dealership. All right, let's do it that way. And every once in a while, you'll see someone who is living in a different world. They're living in a different world so much so. And a lot of people make fun of them, but they're giving us a gift. You know, I was on the subway, I saw a guy with one shoe on his foot and three hats on his head, all right? He hadn't, he hadn't shaved his beard in like four years, but he managed to shave his eyebrows off, fresh that morn. You know, and I'd rather be that guy than one of the millions of apathetic, average, robbie clad tool bags who don't have a single, unique thought in their entire empty, vapid skulls and just go around contributing willfully to this mindscape of mediocrity. I'd rather be the guy standing in line at the grocery store trying to mail a dead squirrel with a fucking 44 cent stamp on its forehead when it clearly requires a dollar ten. I'd rather be that guy. Hey guys, I'm Lee Camp. Keep doing what you're doing.